Well, let's finish this. Or at least get toward the uh, final battle. So I can finish it in the next episode. So right from the start, I know that I've got um, Unique below me. I might go after it quickly, but we're going to go up here first. I look see around. Alright, so here's the Lander's Journal. One. I am increasingly certain that what I gave my love was not the blood of life. Her demeanor has changed, but not in a way one would expect. If I had given her the essence of some god to show to a wounded and, and, ex and um, exanquated for a trophy, or a blood red demon, or something else that would affect her mental state, I would expect her to start acting oddly, with more cruelty, more arrogance, less humanity. Instead, she acts like she knows the world is about to end and can't tell anyone. She mutters about needing to use the contents of the ruin, that one one that we still can't uh, even tell Anglin exists, bringing about a new order of magocracy, like the one Tannen wants, before it's too late. Something is gnawing at her, and she dreads that I may find out what, but otherwise, she's almost too rational. She is terrified of losing me, losing the world, losing herself, but to what I have no idea. Ultimately, it does not matter what is running through her mind. I will study the text in this ruin for some rituals, far post schematics, or something else that would fulfill her plan for her. She will get to see this Gaelic once for herself, and then its magic will be absorbed and it will be over. Whatever this creature is, it cannot give orders when it's dead. Yes, Gaelic um, is making an appearance. He's actually a god, but uh, don't tell anyone. Yes, the creator is going to make his appearance. But who is the creator? And this guy is taking a beating to go down. Kind of annoying. Let's uh, grab him. Uh, we'll do this to him, I guess. That'll make him feel the pain. Drop this here. We'll stun him. There's some stuff up there. Let's throw this in right here. Right there. Put that there. Ow, 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 that's all I can say. You can come up here. Let's go like this. Those guys are fighting each other for some reason over there. Problem answer. Hello. <clears throat> hmm. Oh! I forgot, Mons of Life uh, is restored equilibrium, so guess what's happening right now? Days pass as equilibrium goes down and down and down. And down and down and down and down. Today's the second pyre of the year of ascendancy. I wonder how many days are in a um, Magiel year, or Yale year. Wow, it takes a while to rest down to see equilibrium. I had a lot of it. Fourth pyre. Oh god, I can see the green pyre. Oh, we got some guys popping out here. 
Let's go like this. I'll put this over here. Ow. Jump here for a moment. We're just going to go like this. Do this to him a little bit. And then we'll go like that. There, that one's out of the way. This guy's a brawler. He's got heroes I'm on. He'll be annoying. Iron grip him. I dominate on him because I feel like it. Why not? And he teleported. Well, I got the unique attentions now because this guy's coming for me. I'll bring it up here. We'll go pop. Um, let's grab you before you do anything. Be an issue. Rush. Do that. Let's go stun this one and we'll do Payless Honor. No, I can't do that at the moment, so. Go like this. I already opened a chest, I guess, because now I've got to deal with this guy. But, we're getting through easily enough. As I say to Ash, he does some nasty stuff. All Iron Grippers, just in case she tries to move away. Do that to her. Do that to her. This guy's an arcane blade. Apparently. I'm out of stamina. We have an issue. Ow. Oh, with the unique alleyway, I really don't have to worry about much on the floor. Do 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 do. Ow. But they still take a lot of cold damage, apparently, because um, I've only got 34% cold resistance. That's amazing. These guys hit hard. Eh, why not? We'll open this. Ow. He's out of the way. That's annoying. Oh, we can't feel, fear escape him. I'm tempted to go after the anti magic guy, but I wonder if it's a good idea to do something like that. Ah, eh, what the hell, I'll do it anyways. Oh, he's only got infusion there. Ah, eh, we'll do it anyways. This means I have to go find some uh, guys to kill for Vim. 
There's a nice moving fusion. I might want to keep this. Control face over room. We'll keep that as well. Oh wow, there's lots of guys over there. Damn it, teleporters. Get rid of that, we'll go rush. Hello. Yoke, that's a lot of cold damage to be hit by. Big hit like this. Orc Mage Hunter, hello. Let's get up to him. Do that to him. Done. Hello. Doink. Doink. Worms, and it looks like we got ourselves a unique bone giant over here. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, good. I didn't activate the bone giant yet. I was afraid I might do that, but I didn't, so we're good. Whoop, I activated him that time. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to... Pop here, and we'll go pop. Pop. That's bleeding on me, but, but that's going to hurt, but whatever. Like that. We'll get rid of a lot of crap on me. I'm going to stun him. He stunned me right back, apparently. I'm going to grip him so he can't do much. Put you here. Activate this. Ow. Heal up a little bit. Fill up again. Bunny hop, because I can do that. This guy's obviously some sort of trapper. I'm still bleeding quite a bit, apparently, so... Let's go this way. I'll heal up a little bit. And because this guy's probably faster and able to uh, heal himself.
Well, that was not useful. Alright, he's definitely a lot faster than me. Let's put that there. I'll rush him. Let's do this to him. I'll go apparently back into the wall. What do you do there to knock me back this far? Was that heave? Use flurry. He did a bunch of critical melee strikes on me, which is really hurt. Obviously, send me all the way over here and back. That's the thing. Do that to him. There we go. We got him down to 50% health. Or 3% health. Apparently, I don't have someone equipped. That's a bit of an issue. Go here. I don't have my shield guy equipped apparently. Alright, so. My armor actually. <clears throat> Force giant body. Put him on. Do that there so he can't kill Walrog. That'd be bad if you did that. Do this. Get our counter strike on him. I basically have to keep a pressure on this guy to kill him, so I have to do. Ow. They don't have heroism on, so... Bunny hop. Put Lightbringer right there. That won't get rid of his thing, I'll just reduce his duration, and it's not going to help the Bone Shield very much, so... Let's fire this. Uh He dodged the attack. Alright, he does have Onslaught on, so that's worth knowing. Onslaught is a thing for him. Activate this, activate this. Let's do that, I'll go like this. Like that. Here, let's just keep knocking it back and forth. That's always fun. There we go. Oh crap, he put that stuff on me? Alright, let's just do... That then for now. Normal him once. I'll do this to him. And he's dead. Alright, so we got rid of him. That's a fairly tough battle to do. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that sort of difficulty fighting him. Now, before I go in, I might want to look into uh, body stuff here. Detrimental stuff is kind of a nuisance, basically, to be hit by, so... What well, could be some really good body um, armor type things to put on, besides, like, you know, blade detrimental effects, which aren't really as an issue to worry about as much. That's just going to get rid of him. That's what I've got. Having a rush would make it easier to chase her after a lander, so I might get used to quase it. Oh! 
I'm putting that on. There's like little that could be better than that. What's Black Ice do, I wonder? No wrestling. So what does Black Ice do for me? Each time you kill a creature with a non-fire damage in melee range, you gain a Black Ice charge between turns. At any mo moment, you can use a charge to infect a creature with Black Ice juice and fire resistance by 62%. So... That's pretty cool, but not really what I need. I'll use the um, the increased speed here. That'll let me gain more attacks. Hello. I'll put that there. Oh, let's do this. Hello, guys who I left behind. Let's kill all these guys. Alright, well, it don't seem to be any more uh, lore in this level. So let's just get going. Whoa! Activate that, activate this. Alright, seriously, how's this snake hit me so damn hard? Um. Jump away. Heal up a little bit. We'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do a bit of that. We'll pop out Waller, perhaps. I have no idea what's making him do all that damage, but it's hurting a lot. Alright, well, Saw Butcher, it's capable of hurting a lot. That's what it is. Got him. Keep he's all the way. Get rid of that. Now oh, it's like this and this and this and this. Oh, they're moving over there. And I'm restoring my clear room because I can do that. We.
Missing with that, apparently. Wow, um... You hit me right hard. Painfully hard, rather. Well, there's the way out. To, um, fight the bosses. While well, I'm thinking about it, I might as well just make sure I have stuff, you know, prepared. I'm going to use this as my main hand weapon, I think. And for shield, offhand. That's that. Don't really need that. Alright, portal is, um, what does Fire Portal do for me, actually? Creates two interlinked portals. Nope, don't need that, really. You just give me Blight Resistance, which is okay, but... Whatever. That's just more Telepathy. That's just a Fire. I can't remember what type of damage they do, but I can't remember it being too bad. There's physical. That's blood shield, but whatever. Battle call. That could be useful because I, I can like pull him into like battle with me, so make it hard for him to run away. Apparently, um, these guys do darkness, not cold. That's acid burst. What's acid burst for me? Acid burst. Whenever you block an attack for your shield, you reach a cloud of acid sick vapor. Alright, that's just blocking ability, so that's not going to help me as much. I'll put that there. I'll basically call people into in a battle around me when I need to. Well, that's actually really expensive on a stamina. That's perhaps not the greatest thing to do, because that's actually going to kill my stamina if I use that type of thing. Think about it now. Light might be worth, I guess, going for, I guess. So... Oh, the Dolag. Do big level of nothing in it. All right, well, um, there's only one piece of lore. That's kind of, you know, whatever. Oh well. I guess it's time to go fight a lander and uh, Argonel. So let's do it. The two sorcerers stand before you, shining like sun. Ah, I guess finally here. I take it you found the peak entertaining. Why are you doing all that? You're supposed to help people. Oh, but all we want to do is help people. We want to come to self-inclusion to come people who are just unfit to govern themselves. Always bickering, arguing. Since the last invasion, or there has been no threat to unite them. So you decided to become the threat yourself? Us? Ah, no. We're merely interested in the master. We have planned for his return, and he would be the creator, the god who made this world. He who suddenly uh, uh, who walks on us the racist spot and burnt the land. He who felt great sorrow for this world. He who shall be now shower to bear the world who make it only better. The staff will allow us to drain enough, blah blah. And then there's Aaron. Right, so let's go mage hunting. The battles begin. Let's activate this. And I'll jump down 
here on the other side of the lander. We'll start off the battle with um, confusing him, maybe. Plus, see what he's defensive against. He's actually vulnerable to confuse and freeze, so. Are you stunning him? That didn't work. Do that. Let's do this. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually try and fight these guys without closing the portals initially. Going after Lightbringer now. Let's just lock him down. Whoop, a lich popped out over there. Rushing's up there. I actually forgot to, to switch this out, so... Uh, one, two... Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... This might be unusable for me because it's such a tight spot. So that's been an issue on my part, but oh well. Let's rush this one. If I can kill the lander, that'd be great because that'll make it a lot easier fighting him. Let's do this to him. How's Aaron holding up? She's still alive. Let's do this. Alright, this seems like a good time as any to maybe fear escape him. So do this. There he is over there, so... Let's come over to him, we'll go try stunning him. He's going to try and strike me apparently, so... Bunny hop, in the wrong direction of course, but whatever. Let's go there. He teleport up here now. That's something you can do in here, by the way. Teleport. Heal up with that. Is he moving really, really fast, or is that me? I don't know. Well, that hurt quite a bit. I don't remember him being this tough. It's kind of a nu nuisance. Let's see here, I'm going to do this by stunning him, by confusing him. I got Counter Strike, that's awesome. Let's go with this to hurt him a lot, this to hurt him some more. He's failing to reuse regeneration, but that's um, great and good. He evaded me. Hit him with this. He's trying to regenerate now. I wish I pill this because then I could knock that off him, but. Oh well. Flame shock, that's annoying. Let's get rid of it. Unfortunately, my fearscape's about to go off, but we did some damage to him in here, so. He's also locked on me and not Aaron, so that's going to help as well. Sort of. Down to 2,000 health. Fifteen hundred health. Let's do that. 
All right, we took out Lander, so he's out of the way. Um, at this point, I'm just going to try to deal with um, the Pearls, I think. We'll go down here. This is the undeath portal, so do that. Teleport up here. I'll actually go up here and put on the movement infusion. This one here, I guess. This is destruction, so there it goes. Who froze me? Lich froze me, apparently. That's annoying. Let's actually make that for now. Put him there. Basically chase him down a little bit. Go over here. Okay, does this elements? Bunny hop over here, I guess. You're after Aaron now, apparently. That's annoying. Crap, dragon spawned. The only good thing about dragons is that sometimes some will be enemies to each other, so. Got a little bit. Let's injure her up a little bit. Be nice if the dragon stops flying, so you know, our stuff could happen. I feel like I ran out of uh, stamina, that's an issue. Ow. All right, let's actually um, do this and this. So the Unstoppable Force Elves, I don't usually use it, but basically this will make me so um, I get more healing. And increase all my saves too, so she basically can't do anything to me for a moment. If she tries to do anything. Probably won't, but whatever. Aaron teleported away apparently. Let's lock her down a little bit. Over here somewhat. Okay, I'm just gonna activate the dragon to get rid of these guys. Now it's just a matter of like finishing these guys off, so I think Aaron died. Or maybe Aaron's still alive, she's just somewhere on the map.
Let's go here. There's Aaron. He's staying alive pretty well. Yes, the battle continues. Let's uh, get rid of that in a moment. Well, I got rid of most of it. Let's do this. And this. Uh, we'll get you out. This little raft of going against our Argonal here. Yep, did I lose my Rush Titan? Yeah, I lost a Rush Titan. Alright, so we'll equip something to make up for that. Do this. Alright, she's after me now, which is great, because it means that she's not after Eren. Basically right now it's all about this beating her down. And doing stuff like this basically to keep her bone shields off. I fight this. I got silenced apparently. Do this. Oh good, I got confused. Keep her confused. I like her being confused. Oh crap on me. Eh, I can deal with it. There's a time place to remove detrimental effects and then just, you know, live up in room. Right now I don't really need to worry about too much. Drop that here. Classic Argonal. Tough as nails, but not very deadly. There we go. The two sorcerers lie dead before you. Their bodies vanish in some material mist. You have won the game. Both Magdale and the Fire East are safe in the dark uh, seams of the sorcerers and their gods. Aaron, are you well? I cannot believe you succeeded. I am prepared to die and yet I live. I might have underestimated you. You did more than we could have hoped for. We both did. Alright, well there we go. Well done. You have won the Tales of Magdale Age of Ascendancy. The sorcerers are dead, and your pride lies in ruins, thanks to your efforts. You have prevented the portal to the void from opening, and thus stopped the creator from bringing about the end of the world. The world presence in the Far East has been greatly been diminished by the loss of their leaders and destruction of the sorcerers. The free people of Sunwall will be able to prosper and thrive on this land. Majiel will once more know peace. Most of its inhabitants will never know that they were even in verse of destruction. But then, this is what being a true hero means. Do the right thing even when nobody will know about it. You may continue playing and enjoy the rest of the world.
So sun still shines. Aaron survived. Evil denied. I won without preventing the uh, void portal from opening. The void portal is uh, far portal is closed, preventing untold horrors from assaulting Yao. There we go. Aaron survived. All right, so here's some more lore to basically read up. Argonol's blood rune uh, aphidum. On touching the blood dripping knife, memories flood your mind. This time with incredible intensity. You drop the knife immediately. Thankfully, you only touch the plain handle and not the rune lit blade or the red pool under it. Moments later, your mind starts parsing and interpreting what it's, it was just absorbed. Pain. Pain, loneliness, and cold. So much cold and it keeps growing. In my dreams, I cannot move a muscle thanks to the untranslatably foul profanity cage. He never had his chance. Could have made the world in his image. Could have made a peaceful world. One in meadows and soft rolling hills. If the other gods hadn't fought with him over it. Might have made humans. In any case, he watched over us. Protected us from those untranslatable into ancient profanity squid. Until they drove him into the void. He suffers on a distant world. His power leaked out a bit by bit. For reasons never told to him by evildoers he'd never seen. This is not right. He must be free. I must be free. He must come to the Isle so our vision for it will finally be realized. It will be so beautiful. And this will be, um, you know, more of like a teaser to what's to come in future DLCs, by the way. And there's the Ominous Dark Moon uh, staff. So, carved for influence and power, this staff seems to have been made long ago, yet it bears no signs of tarnish. Light around it seems to dim and you can feel its tremendous power simply by touching it. The sorcerers seem to have weakened its power. And lo, they came to Immacrophil himself, and the thousands were killed in the assault on his throne. And the free of the god's slayers were broken beneath his feet. But Thalian, with his dying breath, pierced the great god on his knee with his icy sword, Arkil. And seeing his opportunity, Kalazir, leader of the god's slayers, advanced with the staff of absorption and struck the terrifying blow against Immacrophil. So fell the grace of the gods by the hand of his own children, and his face was forced into dust. A Lantern's Journal 2. I awoke earlier this morning to see the love of my life altering a unique fire portal we built together. Our plans are all on track so far. The staff of absorption has been integrated into the portal, so it'll drink garlic the moment it summons him. The orcs are too busy suspecting each other to bar investigating us, and then I discovered that she sabotaged it. This portal will empower Gurgle when it summons him, and he surely must be insane for the loneliness of tumbling in the voids of space all this time. In any case, even a sane god would be devastating to life as we know it. I can't bring myself to stop her. Argonaut, my love, you have brought me so much joy and given me so much to live for. I have sworn to hold your hand and walk beside you, no matter where you choose to go. If that means joining you down the road to the second spell blaze, so be it. Forgive me, Al. And that's it. I've won. This will take me back to the Far East. This will take me back to Machiel. I don't think there's anything in here I really care about keeping, so... Off we go. And yes, that's basically it for another run of Tales of Magiel, this time with a Doom of Demologist in Nightmare Adventure difficulty. I don't think the Elder has anything to speak to me about, but I'm just going to check. Nothing, excuse me, bye bye bye. Alright, just to do a quick check, how much time have I been spent on this episode? Alright, we got a little bit of time, so what I'm going to do right now... We're going to avoid the Ziggur Patrol. We'll go over to the fortress, and uh, for those who haven't seen it, we're about to see a little bit of lore in the fortress. I just need to equip the Awakened Staff Absorption. Oh, well... Um,
There we go. Take it off. Uh, can I put it on now? There we go. So, with this I can like translate pictures in here. So basically you can read the, about the, the murals basically. It's like, you know, the gods fought with each other and all that. And there's this one. Oh, the Machafell. There's the third mural. There's the fourth mural. There's this mural. And here we've got the sixth. There's the seventh. There's the eighth. And then there's a ninth. So there's a little bit of uh, stuff. Right, gotta put this back on. Now let's see here. I might stick around for a little bit more, so... Just gonna do a quick check on stuff. That might be useful to have right about now. That'll give me Fire Strike, I don't really need that. I might use this though. That's cool speed, that's fine. Alright, well, I'm quite happy about the results of this episode. I'm not sure if I if I um am I gonna basically barge uh, doing the um the video taping for or video recording for um the golem. This guy over here. Did I never do the chest in here? Okay. Wow, look at that. I'm like not even in the realm of uh, power of these guys. Do do do. Alright, this is where I'll leave you guys for this episode. It's been a long run. I basically conquered the rest of High Peak and killed the sorcerers. And I'm not sure, but I think this might be the last recorded run for Asia Sensei that I'll be doing for a while. I may come back to do like, you know, another in the future, but one thing about doing, I'm probably gonna hold off until like the next DLC comes out before doing like another Asia Sensei type of run. Or if it's like Broken Worlds, then I'll just say do the campaign for Broken Worlds instead next. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is a long, long endeavor doing another recording of this series, but whatever. It's done. And I'll see you guys next time, whenever I do another Tales of Magiel type of episode or series again.